Hello, my friends. I'm going to do a short video of a couple coins I got today. This is an 1899 Orleans. That's actually in pretty decent shape considering how long these coins typically stayed in circulation. Now, here's the O Mint. Always crunch these staples down. You save yourself a bit of trouble if um, you keep them in a collector box you know, or any other type of thing to kind of prevent this from snagging your other coins. Now, the other one I got is 1906. This is a Denver coin. Indeed. For Denver. Now, for a few short years, because this is the first year they made Denver coins, they struck these Barber coins, dimes, uh, quarters, and half dollars at Philadelphia, Denver, New Orleans, and San Francisco. Now, The 50 cent one, if I remember correctly, they, they did not do a 1909 Denver, I think it was. But that's the other years they did. So what you need to know is if you get these, always look, and it's from the 1906 to 1909 on a barber coin, you need to know the difference at a glance between the D and the O because with dirt or smuck on it you might think you're buying an Orleans mint coin instead of a Denver or a Denver instead of an Orleans coin but these are just moderately good this might be very good and this one's probably right at good I mean it has the full rim so it might even be very good too although it does look like a little more wear on the face than this one and then again it might just be dirt but I don't think I have this particular year in these I got quite a few of them but there's a couple of them Orleans mint ones that are really high because they didn't make very many but that's my short re you know review this for this weekend's buying that's all I bought this weekend anyway if you like this kind of content please like and subscribe and i'm going to have another video going live soon that involves these and this